I'm Bev Adams. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I love Stampin' Up! but sometimes I cannot find what I'm looking for. So I have used a free program called Evernote to uh, create a searchable catalog that you can use to uh, look for just the products that you want. I share my notebook for $10 U.S. currency for one year, and that works whether you're in the U.S. or outside of the U.S. If you're in Canada or even Germany or France or South Pacific, you can use my notebook, and I have a PayPal button, and PayPal will convert your local currency to U.S. dollars. I'm also offering a three-month trial for five dollars. Try the program and see if it works for you. And at the end of the three months, I'll send an invoice for the remaining $5. If you decide to continue, you'll keep the access for the rest of the year. And if I don't hear back from you, I'll disconnect your access and no problem. To share my notebook, you'll go to bevadams.com and click on shop. And then products from Bev. Here's where you'll find the PayPal buttons. Use this top one if you're ready to get Evernote for a year. Enter your address that you plan to use to log into Evernote with. And also, if you are new to sharing my notebook and you have a different email address that you use for Facebook, enter that here and then buy now. And if you're not quite sure that you're ready to jump in with both feet, you can try it out for three months for $5. Again, enter your email address and your Facebook address. And then press Buy Now. If you're on YouTube, look down in the description below and you'll see the description and a link that takes you directly there. When you've made your contribution through PayPal, they will send me a notice. And sometimes I've noticed that this takes a bit of time. I will send you an invitation to the email that you have entered. This is not automated, so I may be working out in the garden or working on a stamping project, but I do get to my computer frequently throughout the day, and I will get back to you and send you the invitations to share my notebook. If you don't hear from me after 24 hours, please send me an email and I will make sure to check things out. Evernote should then send you an email to let you know that you have a work chat from me. But I will also send you an email with step-by-step -step directions. To get the notebook, first you will need to download the Evernote app to your computer, phone, or tablet. It works on just about any device, but I think it works best on a Windows or a Mac computer. If you don't have a computer, an iPad or tablet will work, or a phone, but it may not be as easy. You'll go to evernote.com slash download. So you're gonna get the program directly from Evernote. If you download it from your app store, it may not be the most recent or the most robust version of Evernote. The basic free version is just fine. You can view all my files and make copies, but the program does limit you to how many new copies that you can make each month. And you can always upgrade later if you have a lot of products and you're not willing to wait a month to add more once you reach your data limit. And once you have the Evernote program, please use the program on your computer and not the online version. I find the online version very difficult to use and sometimes doesn't do everything that I want it to do. When I send you your invitation, you're going to open Evernote and look for a work chat. If I have a new work chat, it shows up in this section on my window. This is just a screenshot, but if you click view and select work chat, you'll see a work chat, chat from me. And then there is a box at the bottom of the work chat. 
it says current products, you're going to click that. And that accepts the connection with my notebook. Pretty soon that will show up over on your list of notebooks in Evernote. And it may also show up in a in the section shared with me. Those are the same notebook. If you see it twice, don't worry about it. And once you click that, you will see this notebook and then you'll start seeing a little number. It's kind of hard to see because on my computer anyway, it's gray printing on black background. But it does show how many notes and that will keep going up. It may take a while for that to synchronize. It can um, be as little as maybe five minutes. Once you have the notebook and it's synchronized, you might want to look in the search box and type in Evernote tutorial. And I only got a little bit into that and it narrowed it down to the Evernote tutorial and the Evernote tutorial slides. Those slides are what I was showing you a minute ago. And the Evernote tutorial has a lot of very specific directions on how to use this. And so I do recommend that you read over it. It's a lot of writing, I know, but I think it will be helpful. At the moment, my current products notebook has 1,083 notes, but I am always adding new notes as soon as products are made available through Stampin' Up. And I also move products out of this notebook when they retire. Today's date as I record this is April 18th. And I am waiting eagerly for the new catalog. The demonstrators get to see it next week. And um, I'm very excited. And as soon as I get it, I will start working on the notes for the new products in the 2021 annual catalog. I cannot share those notes on Evernote until the catalog goes live. I believe that will be June 3rd this year. And so if you are sharing my notebook, as soon as I move those notes into the current products notebook, they will synchronize with your computer and you'll see all the new stuff. I will also soon be marking the products that will be retiring. I already have a tag called retiring soon and basket weave 3D embossing folder is actually already not available, but I've left it in the notebook for a while, um, but I have tagged it retiring soon. I will tag all of the products that are retiring. Um, and so you'll be able to see those. And then when the catalogs change over, I will move these retiring products into a different notebook called retired products. I also share that notebook. So if you want that, just ask. I will be happy to share that with you. I share my notebook so that you cannot change any of the notes. You can look through them as much as you want and you can, and I strongly urge you to create your own notebook for the products you own. I do that as well. This is my notebook. And so you will see the products that I own, both the current products and also retired products in here. I also keep notes for things like my Zebra mechanical pencils, and I mark where I store them in my closet because they're not with the rest of my Stampin' Up! stuff. I strongly urge you to make your own notebook. I will be creating another video that shows you how to create your own notebook and how to copy the notes into your notebook and some um, strategies for how to do that best. But for now, know that when you copy a note, you are adding to your data. And if you do keep the free basic version, you will reach a limit on your data. Once those notes are in your notebook, they are yours and they are no longer connected with my notebook.
So the products that you have in your own notebook will not be updated with the new page numbers. If they carry over, I will have those new pages, page numbers in the current products notebook. And I will be making a video on how to copy that information if you want it. And once those notes are in your notebook also, they are there whether the products retire or not. Those are your notebooks. They're totally separate from mine. When I invite you to share my Evernote notebook, I will also be inviting you to a Facebook group. This Facebook group is just for the people that are sharing my Evernote notebook. I keep it secret so that you can't just go searching through Facebook to find it. That Facebook group is there for me to communicate to the people that are sharing my notebook. So if I have a training coming up, or if I have a question and answer, or if I wanna let you know that I'm adding new notes, or if I'm about to move notes into the retired products notebook, you might need to know that a bit ahead of time. And that's the only way I have of communicating with you. So I hope that that is helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at bevadams at verizon.net. And I'll be happy to help you. Talk to you soon. Bye.